Hello, welcome to Lumina's program on Shalom World Television. I am Father Callistus Nakwala from Zomba Diocese in Malawi, Africa. I'm studying at St. Paul University here in Canada. But currently, I am serving at St. Patrick Basilica here in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. I've been invited to share some thoughts on the Beatitudes, what it really means to be blessed, to be happy. And in our sharing, we shall be guided by a scripture reading from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 1 to 11. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May God, the Holy Spirit, who inspired the human authors to write only what God wanted them to write while they were using their human skills and customs, may help us and inspire us as we share the word of God, which helps us to know God and his plan of our salvation. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. We now read the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 1 to 11. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. In this Gospel passage, we see the contrast between the values of God and the values of the world. They stand in opposition. Because where God says, blessed are the poor, the world tells us, blessed are the rich. But what does it mean to be rich? 
To be rich is to have God. For to have everything without God, it is really to be poor. But very often, we are blinded with what we have. And where God says, blessed are those who mourn, the world is saying, blessed are those who are having fun. And where God is saying, blessed are the meek, the world is saying, blessed are the smart. The smart who are clever, who try to find opportunity in every aspect of life, but to be blessed and to have the true fun is to be with God. And where God is saying, blessed are those who hunger and thirst. The world is saying, blessed are those who dine, wine, and are having a barbecue. What is the real food that satisfies us? All the material food can satisfy us for a day. But when we have God and receive the spiritual food from his word and from the Eucharist, we are fully satisfied. And where God says, blessed are the merciful, the world is saying, blessed are the powerful. And all sorts of people are looking to every opportunity to have authority, to have power, to dominate others, to make others poorer and poorer, so that they become richer and richer. And it is because of this thirst for power that there is a great gap between the haves and the have-nots. And where God is saying, blessed are the pure in heart. The world is saying, blessed are the slim in body. For they will not have any health problems. But good health, good life, is not a result solely from my discipline. Good health, good life, is a result as a gift from God. And where God says, blessed are the peacemakers, the world is saying, blessed are the newsmakers. People would like to be famous at all cost. People to hear of their achievements, to what they have acquired, to see how successful they are in life. But maybe the question we can ask is, what does it mean to be successful? Where are we called to be successful? We are called not to merely to be successful, but to be faithful to God. And by being faithful to God, is when we are truly successful. And God is telling us that blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. How the world is saying, blessed are those who can afford best lawyers, for they will never be jailed. In the world today, we see innocent people in jail, while those who have really committed crimes because they have best lawyers and money, they are never put into prison. This is the poverty of the spirit. What does it mean to be blessed then? It is the willingness to give 
when others take. It is the willingness to love when others hate. It is the willingness to help when others abuse. The bottom line of the Beatitudes is to put God first, to put his will first and his plan of salvation. That is what it means to be truly blessed, to, be, to have true happiness. We have to know the will of God. We have to do the will of God. And we have to discover the will of God. For to know the will of God is the greatest knowledge. To discover the will of God is, is the greatest discovery. And to do the will of God is the greatest achievement. And all these are well expressed in the Beatitudes. So knowing the will of God, discovering the will of God, and doing the will of God must be our food. And when we are committed to this, it's when we are truly blessed. Let us pray. God, our Father, we thank you for sending us the Holy Spirit that has inspired us to share your word, the living word, our food for our salvation. Help us daily to know you through the scripture, to do your will expressed in the scripture, and to discover the secrets of our salvation. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm very happy to introduce Shalom World, a new Catholic family-oriented Catholic TV that will be 24-7 English-speaking television channel. I hope that this, through this media we will be able to continue to spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world, a world that needs shalom, that needs the peace that comes from the King of Peace, Jesus Christ. I congratulate all those who participate in supporting this new media and that it may continue to reach millions and millions of people all over the world where we need the light of Christ. Shalom World, God's own channel.